Now to solve the problem of direct mapping, we are going for associative mapping. In this mapping, any block of this main memory can be present in any line of the, uh, you know, uh, cache, right? Then what happens is, I'll just take that example and explain you. Let us say we have 6-bit physical address, 6-bit physical address and, uh, you know, block size is uh, 4 bytes. Therefore, 2 bytes is given for uh, block offset and then 4 bits are given for uh, hmm, block member, right? And now I'm saying that if you have 16 blocks, how many here? 16 blocks, right? So with 4 bits, how many blocks are possible? 16 blocks are possible, right? If you have 16 blocks, now I'm saying that all these blocks, they have the freedom to be present in any of the lines of the cache. So it is not a many to one function anymore. It is many to many function, which means all these 16 blocks can map to any of the uh, lines of the cache, right? Then now the problem is if any time a cache is containing earlier, what happened earlier when a cache block was containing some, uh, you know, when a cache line was containing some uh, block, then we are sure that it is only one of the four, right? So that is how we mapped. But now here, if a cache block is containing a, if a cache line is containing a block from main memory, it could be any one of 1 to 15, 0 to 15, which means it could be any, any 16. Therefore, how many taglines should be there? See, taglines say what is the possibility or what are the, how many blocks can come and sit in this line. That is what tagline will say. Isn't it? So now here tag uh, tags are saying that you know according to, according to this 16 blocks of main memory can sit in any of the lines. Therefore, each line has to differentiate between all the 16 blocks. Isn't it? Because any anything is possible here. Therefore, for tag we are going to give four bits, which means the entire block number has to be present as the tag. The reason is simple we don't know which block is present in which line therefore only way to find out is have the entire block number there got it earlier what happened we we know that exactly uh, you know uh, some particular block will go into only some particular line right therefore we are not going to store that line information into the tag we are only going to rem you know, remember the remaining information the tag but here there is it is not like that there is no method here anything can be present present anywhere right that is why now the tag bits are going to be more now what are the consequences of this method one advantage is there will be no conflict miss which means as long as we have some empty space in the cache we will never replace a page we are going to completely use the cache capacity if you want more or more blocks that is fine but then it has got its own disadvantages one disadvantage is watch it one thing is the tags have increased the size of the tags have increased that is fine anyway we could cope up with this but then the main problem is if any memory address is presented we don't know where to go and search earlier we had that cho choice right earlier what we did was what we did was uh, we actually we have uh, you know uh, chosen only one particular tag using the multiplexer and then we read only those bits tag bits and used only one comparator and we compared it but now given any physical address by the cpu we don't know where to look for, look for therefore we have to look at all the all the tags right now if i have only one comparator and if i have to compare all the tags then what happens is i have to compare one by one and it is going to take hell a lot of time and the access time that hit latency is going to increase uh, very very much right then what we do is instead of that uh, what is the solution is instead of having one comparator we'll have n comparators which means let us say these are all comparators right we'll have many comparators and each comparator will be connected to the tags tag bits and whenever you have this uh, you know physical address then physical address is going to have block offset and block number now this block number will be parallelly presented to all the comparators right now all the comparators will be comparing parallelly and if any one of them right says yes if any one of them says yes then it is a then it is a hit otherwise it is a miss got it 
So now how is it implemented? The main problem in this associative is we get the freedom of placing anything that is advantage but the main problem is the disadvantage is if I have k lines let us say 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 lines then how many comparators I need? 4 comparators I need right? So the hardware cost is going to increase along with the you know, freedom. And now what about the hit latency? The hit latency will be time taken uh, for the signal to propagate to the comparator as well as the time taken to uh, for the signal to come uh, pass through the R gate. Sometimes they will implement this R gate using some other circuits like multiplexers. This R gate, right? Then you might have to add those two. Uh, let us say, let us solve this problem. I'll just give you one problem, then you can answer it. I'll see. Let us say the main memory size is 32 GB right this is main memory size and the block size is block size is uh, 32 KB right then now find out the tag bits first so we have to find out the tag bits and if the propagational delay of a comparator of a comparator is let us say 10 into k nanoseconds where k is number of tag bits and propagation delay of R gate that particular R gate is again 10 nanoseconds then what is the hit latency how much is the hit latency that is the question so how to answer it now watch it uh, so if the main memory size is this and the block size is this right then how, how many tags are going to be there which means how many bits are used to represent the block number in case of associative memory how many bits are required in the uh, block number I mean tags the number of bits required in the tags is equal to the number of bits required to represent the block number isn't it so now if 32 GB is given right so 32 GB means the physical address is 32 GB and if nothing is given you can assume that it is a word you know one word equal to one byte and it is byte addressable right then what is it 32 GB means you can think of it as 35 bits and now the block size is 32 KB right 32 KB means you can think of it as 15 bits I mean this is 15 bits right so so how many bits are remaining 20 bits 20 bits are used for representing the uh, block number so all these 20 bits have to be present in the tag because we don't know where each block is going to sit so we should be very sure that whenever we look at a block that it is the exact block I mean this is the exact block number also right that is why these 20 bits are going to be in the tags right so how many bits are going to be in the tag bits 20 bits are going to be in the tag bits right then if the propagation delay of the com of the comparator is 10 into k comparator circuit which means this one is 10 into k you need not think about how many comparators are there because anyway all are going to happen in parallel that is why one comparator delay is enough now 10 into 20 is 200 nanoseconds is the propagation delay of the comparators and then the propagation delay of the OR gate is 10 nanoseconds then what about heat latency heat latency is 210 nanoseconds isn't it add these two why we have to let the signal propagate to the comparator and then we have to let it propagate to the OR gate why OR gate here R gate here is required because it is nothing but we are testing if the block is present anywhere in this right we are not actually testing at one particular tag we are at one particular line we are testing all the lines parallelly this is how you can find it out isn't it so now uh, these, these kind of problems are possible let's solve some more problems on this uh, associative memory and uh, you know whenever the complete associate this all the lines are uh, full then what we do is here uh, in direct memory we whenever we want to replace any page we need not think about which one to replace we have only one uh, one option there whatever is present at that particular line into which this particular uh, you know main memory block has mapped into that one we are going to replace 
but here you know when we are free to choose any of the main you know uh, this uh, blah, lines then if all of them are full and now if i have to put a new one a new uh, you know let us say block into one of these lines then i have a choice then this is where this uh, block replacement algorithm will come into picture just like place replacement algorithms lru we are going to use the same kind of algorithms lru fifo etc right now depending on uh, the particular algorithm that we are going to use the replacement algorithm uh, the misses and the hits everything is going to be affected okay so now uh, we shall see this how to what are the various problems on this associative i mean associative memory okay